Okay, with all the granite selected and all our measurements taken care of, it's time for a little fabrication. So Kurt Sauer is going to join us to kind of take us through the whole process. All right, Kurt, with our granite here, with all the measurements done, where do we take it from there? Well, once the measurement's done, the nice thing about it, it's already done in a CAD form. The CAD format uh, drawing is actually acceptable into the fusion. All the saw cuts will be done on this. This machine is meant to do all the cutting, no polishing. So anything that is a straight line run will be cut with the saw, and anything that has a radius or to clean up some corners will be done with the actual water jet. Now why not just do everything with a water jet? Well, the water jet is a very unique uh, system. It's mainly made for cutting radiuses and cleaning out corners, and it's a much slower process oh, than, the, sure. than the actual blade cutting through the stone. So we use the blade to do all the quick cuts, and then the water jet finishes up all the radius and the, and the end point. Now we have a big long radius cut on our island. Where, where does that happen? Well that's going to happen on the water jet. That's, that's the part that uh, the, the, the actual blade cannot do. So the water jet's actually going to make that cut and along with any other cuts that the straight edge can't do. And then at that point, that will then move over to the CNC machine to be polished up with whatever edge is determined on that. Now one thing that Craig mentioned to me is because we want an edge that is thicker than our slab, we're only inch and a quarter, we want to go wider, he said what you guys do is you miter the edge. Right. The beauty of mitering an edge, it gives you the ability to drop a, a rail down and glue it in place and then um, you actually lose the seam in the edge itself with our hand polisher, we'll smooth the edge out and make it a nice soft round. So it's all gonna look like one piece coming down the edge. Yeah, because sometimes with some of the really wild marbles, you put those together and you can see a very distinct line when you put but two pieces together. So right, I mean, right. That, that's really cool. And, and uh, the one thing to remember is that this can only be done on straight runs. The minor sure. edge can only be done on straight runs. Yep. Any radius has to be stacked like your island will be to stacked. Totally understand, yep, yep. fair enough. Okay, so once all of the pieces have been cut, you've basically taken all your slabs and partitioned those off. Where, where does everything head after that? Well, since that is just a machine that does the cutting, uh, once it leaves there, it can go to one of two places. It can either go to our Pro Edge, which does uh, mostly all straight runs, and it can put on a number of different edges, uh, your beveled edge, your, your bull nose, half bull. The, the thing it doesn't do is any radius. Sure. or it could go to the CNC machine. The pieces that need to go to the CNC, that's the piece of equipment that'll put on the radius polished edge. That'll handle any different, any kind of edge that we, we have to offer will be on the CNC machine. It has about 14, 15 different edges that we can put on with that. Okay. And it, it'll do the outside edges and it'll also do the inside of the sink bowls. When it leaves the CNC, it's just about ready for install. So Kurt, what else do you have to do to wrap everything up? Well, this is basically the last stage of putting all the pieces together. And we have some talented craftsmen people that will finish up the job by maybe adding some support in the rails of the sink runs, maybe put in a steel rod to give it some added support. And then we'll also add some little radius corners that have to be done by hand, some bottom rounds that'll have to be done by hand. And then we're gonna fit the pieces together where the seams are and try to see if we have a good fit for that. And then finally, we're going to put some sealer on all the pieces and get it ready for the A-frame. So it looks like these guys have had a little experience doing this stuff. Yeah, you're right. These, these guys are uh, very talented in what they do. It, it takes a good craftsman to work the granite, get it back up to a polish, and um, this is what they do best. This is what we used to do before the machines were all here. So these are probably some of the most talented craftsmen in the building right here. Absolutely. These guys are very talented. They know what they're doing and uh, they know how to work the stone. Well, I can't wait to see it walk into our kitchen. Let me tell you, that's, that's going to be fun to see yep. that happen. Should be, it should be good. It should be a lot of fun. So I was noticing the guys down here, they were...